Right. So what movie did you get to see early this week? I got to see um, The Royal uh, Hotel. For some reason, I keep wanting to call it The Royal Theatre. I don't know why. Maybe because that's, there is a Royal Theatre out there. It's very similar to Cat Person. Very similar. Basically, it's about two American backpackers. They are traveling through Australia. Mm-hmm. And, um, uh, you know, they're in their like mid-twenties. You first see them in Sydney. Uh, on a boat, really enjoying themselves, having lots of drink, but they're running out of money. So they leave Sydney and they carry on with their kind of backpacking journey and they find themselves in the outback and they need to make some quick money. So like a lot of backpackers, they work for a bar for two weeks. But this actual location is a, um, it's an absolute no man's land. And um, they're surrounded by hyper-masculine sexist men who um, work in the local mine. It's one of these communities in a rural outback setting and society almost just like turned its back on it. And um, these men just work intensively in a mine and then they go back to the pub, which seems to be the only stable structure in the entire community. Everyone else seems to just live in dives or caravans. And um, they get incredibly drunk every night. Hugo Weaving from the Matrix film plays the um, landlord. And the women are, the, the two backpacking girls are warned that you'll get a lot of male attention. And they both say to each other after talking to the landlord, um, you know, yes, it's going to be a nightmare. We can handle the blokes like we handle them in America. Um, we only need to be here for two weeks so we can make enough money and then we'll carry on. And like Cat Person, it's that feeling of a thriller whereby you never quite know until the third act if the men are genuinely putting the women in danger or they just, with Cat Person, it's like, is he just a nerdy odd character or is he genuinely dysfunctional and means the girl harm? Uh, and she needs to you know, get away as soon as possible. And with um, the Royal um, Hotel, geez, so, so worrying, isn't it? The Royal Hotel, you don't know if they're just lewd, loud and mouthy Aussies or in act who are just, you know, living from day to day in this kind of working a horrific mind and then drinking. Yeah, they're incredibly intoxicated. Or they do mean her, uh, or them, because there's two girls in this situation, they do mean the girl's harm. So did you go along with Ryan? Um, I did indeed. Yeah. As usual. Many people was... in? Many people in? No, Many I guess not, in. with a black card. It was, um... yeah, I would say it was about... Uh one third filled type oh. of thing. So you've got some film fans and also the town it's in, you know, it, it ushers in quite a few um, film fans sort of thing. It's quite a cultured town. And yeah. this is almost a bit of an art house cinema movie. It's not your n- normal multiplex film. Did so you know about pleased. it before you sat down and watched it? Yes. They'd announced it on their website. So they right. do do that every now and then. And I had an inkling that it might be this film because okay. you can see that they were doing early screenings. So I thought, okay, they're going to have a copy of this movie. So they might show it for the secret screening as well. Now, you obviously I'm watched in. it um, midweek. So how did that affect what you ate? The eating front, I kind of destroyed myself a bit. It's got to be said. It was I had my eye on something in Tesco's for quite a while. I love it um, when you have your eye on something. And, I love um, it. I looked at it on the first go and I was just like, no, it's too expensive. I'm, I'm going to leave that. And then I went back to it later in the week and it had gone. Yeah. And it had been gone for several weeks and the, the shelf was empty. So when I saw it, I bought it. And uh, they really are quite an experience. I mean, just the title, they are basically um, Belgian uh, chocolate and sugar covered waffles. And um, what I um, strategically do, which um, I think a lot of people do, this is not, there's nothing clever, but I go straight to the waffles at the op- at, when I go into the Tesco's, and then I strategically hide the waffles in amongst some pizzas or ice cream in a fridge. And then you do your shopping, and then you go back to the fridge, and they are ice cold. So you have crumbling chocolate in your mouth. You I think love- about it. You've got little plans, haven't you, when you I enter? I certainly it. have. But this time I went to my waffles and someone had moved them. And I felt like having a tantrum in the middle of the aisle. 
So Hang I on a minute. Get... You found the waffles. You put them in a fridge. You went back yes. to the waffles and they're gone. They're gone. I felt like shouting to the ceiling, you who've taken my waffles, but you sound insane because you're surrounded we, by pizza. Can we see what, if you'd shouted at the ceiling, what that would have looked like? Who's taken my waffles? It was just like, where have they gone? Who's taken, who has taken the waffles? I had two waffles here in between those two McCain meteor pizzas and someone's just taken them. You know, it was my life hack and someone is, what they've done is just stolen my life hack. Yeah. Um, Who's taken my waffles? Absolutely. If I didn't have nearby neighbours in a flat, that's what I've gone for. I've gone for yeah. the more than Marlon Brando. Well, I have got some. I shouldn't have done that. No, God, you've got to do it. You've got to do it every now and then. So the Royal Hotel, you, were you pleased that you spent your Tuesday or Wednesday night, whatever it was, in the ho in the cinema watching the film? Yes, I have, particularly after watching Cat Person, because... As a lot of critics have said, it's almost um, it, what's well, not supposed to be a companion film, but these two films have come out. And I mean, um, this kind of feminist viewpoint is very, it's just so dominant within cinema at the moment. You know, we only had Barbie a few months ago, but, um, you yeah, know, that's the cultural conversation at the moment. And um, it delves into it once again. And it's not just a feminist um, commentary that's similar to Cat Person. It's almost, it's also the pace of it as a thriller. As well, it's this growing sense of dread. And are the girls just becoming paranoid because of the isolated community and the drunk men? Or are the men um, creating a conspiracy around them? Basically, you've got three main men. I think it's called Dolly, Trev and Teeth. And one character called Teeth um, has had a head injury and he's missing teeth. So they're quite dark characters. And Hugo Weaving's landlord becomes more and more dark as it goes along. Um, okay, well, let's let's. I think you've given enough <laughs> to chew on there. Let's let's have a little guess, people. I've got something to tell you as well, David. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. yeah, 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 yeah. Up, yeah. Up, up. Potentially something that might um, you might enjoy. Um, oh, lovely. <clears throat> uh, okay, so people in the YouTube, please, can we now guess what review <clears throat> out of five chalk ices David is going to give the royal? Hotel. Okay. Oh, there's a whole range of uh, guesses here. How um, many chalk ices out of five are you going to give the Royal Hotel? Three. Oh, there we go. Basically, my main criticism would be that um, it, it's a slow burning feminist thriller, but it's very slow in places. It's incredible. The pacing is just. Um, just too slow too i mean that's the idea of it in the sense that it's supposed to be this slow burning i mean um the director who's called kitty green she made a film this is her second film she made another film called the assistant that had julia gardner in it who's also um stars in this film as well and it's set in a hollywood office and it's about toxic masculinity in the hollywood office and she's an, um, a junior assistant and she's bullied by the male producers and agents. But she also starts seeing evidence that one of the agents is having a um, an affair with an underage actress. So, it you know, it sounds like it's filled with drama. But once again, you get these very long takes. You see um, the assistant just doing a day to day job like photocopying. Um, so it plods along at a very slow pace, almost, which grounds the film, grounds the drama. It doesn't feel overly glamorized and dramatized like a Hollywood film. So when it does get gritty, you feel it's very real. But that slowness and that, that reflection of reality, because the director, Kitty Green, was a documentary filmmaker originally, it becomes too much after a while. It just, um, well, not that bad. I've still given it three out of five because there are good moments. Yeah, someone said it's been panned a lot, the film. I would say the critics love it. The oh. audience score has been low. Critics okay. love it because they're up for like like um, Killer of the Flower Moon. That was three hours and a half, and the plot engine to that yeah. is just sput sprot spluttering. Sp it's sp it's spluffer of half, I think. Along, I sounded slightly drunk yeah. then, um, but uh, you know the acting and the cinematography and the historical reconstruction of the film is amazing. But um, okay, similar to that, oh. if it's too slow, Bit critics floppy. loved it. Audiences didn't. Yeah. Okay. Well, interesting. But you've given it a three, so you're kind of saying, have a look it, at it. 
So have a think? look at it. There's elements of merit there. If you're interested in films that have got a feminist commentary, looking at gender politics, sex Which wars, you are at hundred percent, hundred percent, absolutely fist in the air, whatever that means, and um, give it a go with Cat Person because they work very well together. I'd look at Barbie Cat Person, then the Royal Hotel and Tesco Waffles. Thank you Those very much, same. David, for this week's new movie review. Quite right. Tesco waffles with anything. It doesn't have to be with feminism. You can do that with anything.